Hello my dear, this is Ujjwal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial you are going to learn about percentage. Yeah, of course, uh, you know, there are questions that has been asked from this topic in gate previous year. So the question right now in front of you, the same question has been asked in gate previous year. Well, uh, I'm just going to share with you this question and uh, also going to share with you how to solve this question right way. If you will get question like this even, uh, you can easily solve it in upcoming examination. So let's go for it. So what in this question they have said, <laughs> a firm is selling its product at 60 rupees per unit. Okay. Total cost of production is, so here is the things to notice. Oh, it's not working. Total cost is equal to 100 rupees but it's expenditure right <clears throat> and firm is earning profit 500 rupees okay now it said later total cost increase by 30 percent they are increasing its 30 percent okay by what percentage selling price per unit should be increased to maintain the same profit percentage okay that means they are telling that by what percentage we will increase its selling price okay now one thing is not clear for us that is total cost total selling cost right how much rupees we are exactly selling uh, the product so it said it state that 60 rupees per unit right and total cost total uh, production cost is this and total profit is this so total selling price selling price is equal to 100 plus 500 because production cost is this and profit is this their production cost plus selling price is equal to 600 rupees right so total selling price is 600 rupees now now there is a twist in the question it state that total cost is increasing by 30 percent so 100 multiple 30 by 100 is equal to 30 rupees so now now total cost is how much 130 rupees okay now now so total selling price should be 630 rupees that's why that's why we'll get the same profit right if i'll minus from here 130 then i will get the 500 rupees profit now what percentage we have increased this we need to find out what percentage we have increased this we have to find out okay now uh, let's say you know 630 rupees 10 percent it's 63 wrong answer if we'll say 630 rupees is the selling price okay then only we can able to get 500 rupees now how much percentage we have to increase this one to get this right so 600 we try 1 by 1 10 percent 10 by 100 is equal to 60 rupees so 630 wrong answer definitely less than 10 less than 10 so there is one option that is 5 so 600 multiple 5 by 100 so this cancel 30 yeah so now 600 plus 30 is equal to 630 rupees what is the right answer here 630 so by what percentage should we increase that is 5 5 percentage okay so this is how you can solve question related to it okay now thing is that what you required simple concept you required if you go for market or you purchase something and you are having experience on it you can easily find out answer of this question and th this type of question we have already solved in our earlier days in maybe ninth class or 10th class we have solved a lot of problems related to it so even then if you forget uh, try to solve few more problems related to percentage then only you can you will have you know uh, basic approach to solve the question and definitely you can solve it quite easily you will not face any problem in the examination okay because it's really simple now let's go for the next question 
well let me share with you this question is little bit different than the other one okay that's why even i am sharing with you because in this question it state that population of a new city is 5 million okay so it state that population of a new city is 5 million and its growing rate is 20 percent annually okay how many years we have to find out how many years it take to double its growth rate double at its growth rate that means how many years will it take to get the population of the city 10 million okay now this is the question now if i will use the basic approach then probably it will take time lot of time we have to invest so for this we are having a formula in this formula what i mean we can use this formula any type of problem like this so in this formula the formula is here population if we'll say population after t years okay is equal to p1 plus r rate by 100 whole to the power t okay now what state that we now look at the formula first look at the formula first and think about it we can use this formula in this problem or not okay so what we have given population will get double now it how many years we have to find out we have to find out t right so already we have given in this question population after t years we don't know what is the value of t but we know population so it's 10 million right now total now it's p that is population right now or you know you can say that the the existing population that is 5 million 1 plus r rate of increasing or growing 20 divided by 100 whole to the power t now solve this equation and uh, get the answer we required calculator that's why i have to arrange it okay so how to solve this 5 10 2 2 is equal to 1 plus 20 by 100 t so we can say this 5 1 plus 1 by 5 whole to the power t 5 5 plus 1 whole to the power t 6 by 5 whole to the power t and 2 now we have to use log if we we'll say <coughs> we are using log both side then this power this the this is the power one this will come outside so log 2 is equal to t log 6 by 5 this is a basic formula okay so uh, if you don't know about it then learn about it this is the rule in case of log and uh, knowing this is really important because you know i have been solving questions of gate i have seen they are using this concept many times in many problems so knowing this is really uh, really uh, you know really necessary and important too okay this is not a matter of gate in many examination you have to use this now what we have to do we have to send this one to this side this side so this will be in division now we need to use calculator we have to find out t what is the value of t okay so log 2 divided log 5 uh, sorry 6 by 5 is equal to it's 3.8017 years definitely okay now look at the options we are having we are having four options in front of you and uh, it is, you can easily choose which, which one is the right option that is D right so in this way you can solve problems related to percentage now most important thing is that if you are getting problem like this you have to know the formula without formula it's difficult but yeah if you know I mean if you get problem like this formula is not that much required you need to have just basic approach now how to build a basic approach how to have basic approach the simple concept more problems you will solve more approach you will have so try to solve more problems 
with by using your brain definitely you will have basic approach i hope you understand some uh, inside information about percentage and of course i have solved few gate problems in front of you only thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye